um, I wanted to share with you some puppets that you could make at home if you don't have those fluffy ones that you bought. These ones are just as much fun and they're super fun to make and easy and, they, and you probably have all this stuff at home. So the first one I'm going to make is from a rubber glove. I know we all have a lot of these rubber gloves now. So if you could find a really clean one and all you do is cut off one of the fingers like that. Just cut it off, which seems kind of strange, but it, it's fun. And then you draw a little face on it. I'm going to draw some eyes with my marker. And I'm going to draw a little, little funny mouth and make him all silly and confused. And then there he is. You got a finger puppet. And you could use all the fingers and make your whole hand. That's a really cute one. Really easy. You could turn it into animals, monsters, whatever you want. The next one I'm going to do is from a paper roll. So all you need is a paper roll and I just printed off something really cute off of my computer. You can do any character you want or you can draw your own. I started cutting it and I started coloring it. Just going to finish that off and you cut out your favorite little picture and you make sure that the size is going to fit onto this tube so it's about there. You can cut it or get a grown-up to cut it for you. And they're great because they stand up really easy and you can do any character you want. So I'm just going to glue that on. I've got some white glue here. You could use a glue stick. You could use tape if you want. I'm just going to glue, glue, glue that little area there. And stick on this adorable little dog. And there we go. we got another puppet we could use. And we could be like, woof, 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 woof. All right, what is next here? I've got this wooden spoon. You, you might have one in your drawer, or if you don't, you can get them at the dollar store. They're not expensive. I think they're three for a dollar. There's so many things you can do with it. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use my glue again, and I did find some googly eyes. If you don't have googly eyes, that's fine. When you draw on the eyes, it looks great too. So I'm gonna put a couple dots here on the spoon for the googly eyes, and stick on these funny looking eyes. One and two. And then draw a, a mouth. Let's make him kind of angry. Oh, and he's got sharp teeth. And we'll give him a funny hairdo. Do, 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 do. Silly hair. And there is my spoon puppet. Mm. All right, what's next? Well, along the same line as the spoon, I have this tongue depressor. You can also use a popsicle st stick. And what I like about these are you may just have them in your house. And they're really easy to draw on. And for his body, I'm gonna use this tape. Maybe you have this kind of tape. It's masking tape, but it's also like for decorating and that. And what I like about it is it comes in different colors. So I happen to have green in my house. And this is gonna be my sticks shirt. Once again, I'm going to draw a face on here. Just a silly, silly one, because that's fun to me. And great big smile on this one. Maybe some hair. And there he is. We got another little puppet. Do, do, do. All right, one more here that I really enjoy is using a paint stirrer. So I got this at my paint store, and you can do the same. Um, and I've got some felt here, but you don't have to use felt. You can use yarn, you can use paper, you can use crayons or markers. I'm going to cut out this little piece and give my lady a funny blue hairdo that she's going to love. And again, use my glue, just a little dab to stick it on the wood. That's going to be her, her hairdo. Now, I'm going to draw that cute little face again. Let's have her with her eyes closed. She's just resting. And we'll give her some little tiny lips. Do, do, do. She's a resting lady. And my favorite part is this wrapping paper. I just found it in my house. I'm going to turn it into a dress just by cutting a, a, a triangle. There we go. Snip, snip. Paint down the middle. There we go, right there. And stick it on the stick. And I have a lovely lady in a fancy dress. 
Oh, I'm so tired. All right, my last one is super easy. If you have Play-Doh, you can make um, finger puppets out of Play-Doh. I'm using this yellow. I made a great big ball. Stick it on your finger. Grab some different colors for the face. I use the blue for the eyes. Oh, it's got one eye bigger than the other, but that kind of makes it fun. And we'll stick a mouth on them. A little tiny mouth on this guy. He almost looks like an insect. And there he is. Or he kind of looks like the Pac-Man ghost. Whoop. All right. I hope you like my puppets. I hope you like the puppet show. Take care, everyone. Bye.